Another year of our marriage has begun. My friend, my baby, my son, my chum. I shan't make a dance and song. Thanks for enduring me for so long. I say to the partner of my life for tolerating me in strife. All said and done, the journey has been a long one. I speak in my own way. It was the 5th of May. Yours truly was in a red sari. I was baffled. I was rattled. You could clearly see I hadn't seen my husband-to-be. It was a marriage arranged by my dad, but I was happy. I was glad. I had lost my mother in my teens, and subconsciously in my dreams, I now realize, as I've become wise, I was looking for a mom, dad, brother, sister, friend, blended into person one, and that is whom I found all said and done. In selecting him, my dad hadn't made a bloomer. My life partner had clearly a sense of humor. I admit he has wit. I wish to be with him more or less, even when I become toothless. Every step with him will be an adventure, even when I start wearing dentures. When I breathe my last, I want him by my side, and you too, son, don't let my departure make you glum. But on this auspicious day, let's not talk of things grey. Your year you have lent, on a lighter note, let me end. I know what your dad will say in his own unique way. What cannot be cured has to be endured. Dad will say no such thing. Your praises he sings. Happy marriage anniversary to us, I say, without an iota of fuss. Happy marriage anniversary, Mater. Happy anniversary, Peter.